name is Kate Hedberg. I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. I'm going to introduce how to create a manufacturer part for a connector in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. I'm in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical application. I'm going to start by being in my Library tab. Here I can access my Manufacturer Parts Manager. This manager allows me to control all of my existing manufacturer parts, create new ones from scratch, batch import from Excel, and download pre-made parts from the Electrical Content Portal. For this video, I'm going to add a new manufacturer part. In the Manufacturer Part Properties, I can include all sorts of information about my part. Most of these fields are optional. The only required fields are the reference and the manufacturer. For this example, I'm going to add a connector. I'm going to say that this connector is made by us here at Go Engineer. The next field is Classifications. In the background, you can see that I had pre-selected the Connectors class before I added the new part. You can always change that class from here. Sometimes there are subclassifications that might make more sense to organize your library. In this example, I'm going to select the custom class of Circular Connectors. The next field is which library you want this part stored in. I have a Go Engineer library, so I'm going to select it. If you want to attach the data sheet for this part, you can do that on the right hand side. You can add a description of the part for added clarity. I want to create a five position circular connector, so I'll add that here to help myself out in the future. You can choose to specify what supplier this is available at. I'm going to say that we can buy this sweet connector at DigiKey and I'm making up a stock number. Here you can choose to specify a 3D part that goes with this manufacturer part. I wanted to take a second to say that this manufacturer data section will change depending on what class of part you are making. Since I am making a connector, there's no additional fields to fill out. If I change the classification to, let's say, a motor, there are now three additional fields I can choose to fill out. I'm going to switch this back to a connector so I can finish this part. There's an additional user data tab at the top of this dialog if you have any more information that you wanted included with this part. The last tab is the circuits and terminals tab. This allows you to specify the connection points for this part. Here you can add one circuit at a time. You can specify what the circuit type is and fill out other relevant information like terminal marks. You can also add multiple circuits at a time. This allows you to quickly make changes to all of the circuits. Here I'm adding four female pin circuits that have one terminal per circuit. I'm just clicking and holding the shift key to multi-select. I'm going to hit OK and go back to specify the terminal marks. On the first circuit, I forgot to add a terminal, so I'll go back and do that now. To add a terminal, pre-select the circuit and go to the lower terminal section of the dialog. Click the Add button to add the terminal to your selected circuit. Now I'm going to shift select all my circuits so I can easily add terminal marks to all of my terminals. And that's really all there is to it. I'm going to hit OK to finish the part. Now we can click in the Circular Connectors class and see our fantastic new part. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us here at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.